what is quantum computing and, and why should everyone care about it? Well, they should care because quantum computing will actually change our world. And so a quantum computer, it's still a computer, but it can do certain things exponentially faster than normal computers. We had a great quantum computer uh, that showed how to take a runtime down from 7 million years to 2 minutes. Wow, so it's just accelerating what we're capable of today. Yes. Can you give me some examples of kind of real life applications, things that would change the way that we live our lives? Yeah, the big ones will be in um, drug discovery. So speeding up significantly drug discovery from computer simulations to bring it to, to market. Uh, material design, so how do you generate, for instance, better batteries that on a single charge can go 10 times longer. And also transformational uh, breakthroughs in artificial intelligence. So Xanadu is big into quantum computing, and this is interesting. You put together your computer chips on site here in Toronto as well. Tell me a little bit about that process. Yeah, so we actually design all the photonic chips here in Toronto, send them off to different foundries around the world. And these foundries are manufacturing facilities that make the chips that we use in our phones and computers. And so they do that for us as well. Uh, we get them back after a couple of months. And then after that, we take the chips and then package them and put them into the quantum computer ultimately. So as in the headlines, what we've seen with regards to computer chips is U.S. President Donald Trump saying he could potentially put a 100 percent tariff on computer chips not made in the U.S. How nervous does that make you and how does that impact what you guys do day to day? Well, the interesting thing, it really depends on the details here. A lot of uncertainty about a lot of these statements. Um, I guess the good thing is we actually use three foundries in the U.S. already. So it would be interesting to see if they're exempt from the, the tariffs. But we, we have a keep an eye on things and wait and see approach. And how has trade uncertainty affected your business so far? Because, I mean, there's a lot of uh, threats and, and rhetoric and words, and it doesn't always translate into the final policy. Yeah, so there's a lot of obvious downsides to the tariffs back and forth between us and, and the U.S. I would say the silver lining, and it's a big one, is the sovereign and patriotism that we're feeling in Canada now. So because we don't think we can rely as much currently on our neighbors, we want to do a lot more stuff here. So we've had discussions with the Canadian uh, government. They've also vocally talked about quantum computing as one of their uh, areas they want to fund. So I think it's actually bringing us all together and doing more stuff and having that patriotism and sovereign aspect of quantum computing. And so that'll lead to uh, building great companies like Xanadu here. How important is the U.S. market to Xanadu? Uh, you know, the U.S. market is important to us in our ultimate um, goal of having customers access our, our quantum data center. But we truly are worldwide. So we want to have um, customers from around the world uh, solving their big problems. And, but, you know, the U.S. is a big part of that as well. How is Canada positioned when it comes to cutting edge technology and competing on the global stage? Historically, um, if you look at Canada, it's known for actually creating all the talent in an industry, take AI, but less so in commercializing. We have a couple of great artificial intelligent uh, startups here in Canada, but for the most part, a lot of talent that was um, grown here is now left to form companies in the US. So um, the similar thing at the start has happened in quantum where we've grown a lot of the talent. We have 250 folks now, half of them are from Canada. But now we've got a real chance through Xanadu and others to commercialize it here and build great companies here using the skill set that was actually developed here over the last two decades. My final question, I have to ask, what's behind the name Xanadu? That's my favorite question. And the answer is the Olivia Newton-John song. We're named after that. And we can join in the chorus together if you like now. Three, two. I actually don't know the chorus, but uh, I, will, I will leave the tech and the singing to you. Thank you so much for your time and your insight. Thank you for visiting.